So Hurricane Milton was a great case study on how roofs perform in extreme weather. We actually have two locations we're going to talk about today. We have Vero Beach where an F3 tornado went through. It actually went right over a metal roof we installed about six months ago. And then I'm standing in Avenir and Palm Beach Gardens. This community is all concrete tile roofs. And we got a pretty good idea of how each performed in extreme weather. So we're going to talk about it. So this home got directly hit by tornadoes and five trees landed on the home directly on the the roof so which roof system is gonna provide you with the maximum protection for you and your family monica did pretty decent up in vero beach not much of the roof was blown off it obviously took hits from debris from trees it took damage the homeowner definitely still needs a roof but one of the big things that didn't happen up in vero that did happen here in palm beach gardens is that all these tiles, about 60% of the tiles were blown off of people's houses. So not only were people losing their roofs, but now we're creating missiles that were projected all through the neighborhood. And a lot of these homeowners, cars were totaled, windows were smashed, holes were actually put in houses, holes in garage doors. This neighborhood would probably have 70% less damage if there was metal roofs on the roof. Not only would they have kept some of the roofs, maybe they would have been damaged, but the roofs wouldn't have created all this extra damage. It had to be horrifying. If you're in one of these houses hearing all the banging hearing all the like look at the holes clearly not only is metal a better system for wind uplift and holding up to extreme weather but it's also going to keep your community safer in the event we do get a storm so i think it's a no-brainer if we're looking for the best roof to perform in extreme weather it's got to be standing seam metal